Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Brought to you by MunchGames.ca Alright, we're gonna move on to Best Friends, Best Duelists. So this was the uh, Duelist Kingdom Finals before they took on Pegasus. I mean, obviously Yugi won. But let's see what happens if Joey wins. It's just, you're taking on Yugi anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Now, it is weird that Joey also has a Summon Skull, but he has it for Black Skull Dragon. So these are the fusion monsters I have. Black Skull Dragon is obviously the best one, because it has 3,200 attack points. Now, it looks like I have Protector of the Throne there for defensive purposes. But if I can keep it safe, and I probably will at this point. Oops, Summoner's Art, so he gets his own Summon Skull out. You know what? I'll save Trap Hole for later. Because this wasn't getting destroyed anyway. Oh, baby! I did not think I would lock out right away. Managed to get a Red Eyes Black Dragon on my next draw. So you know what that means. Bring on the Black Skull Dragon. And because that was a special summon, I can still tribute my Protector of the Throne to bring in Garuzis. Now I got some uh, real firepower. And hopefully I don't end up losing those monsters real soon. Oh, he's got nothing at all? I think I just won! In less than three minutes! Man, do we have, like, the time- oh. He managed to draw a Karibo. To be honest, it didn't matter if I brought in Time Wizard or not. But let's use this as bait. If he's dumb enough to attack that Time Wizard. He's not. He knows better. Really? Another time wizard? I mean, suit yourself. Not that I needed it. That was way too easy. Holy crap, I did not think that would work. Alright, we're gonna move on to the match of the millennium. This time, I will be playing as Pegasus. This was the duel where Yugi had to duel to save his grandpa. But of course, Pegasus had the Millennium Eye. And at the end, it became a shadow game. Yeah, I have some decent tune monsters right now. And I also have Manju of the 10,000 Hands. Alright, so before I think about that... Hmm... I got an idea. Bring in Toon Gemini Elf. But I'm not gonna bring in Toon World yet. Because if Toon World gets destroyed, the, uh, Gemini, the Toon Gemini Elf gets destroyed too. You know what? That was not a bad decision. Okay, now it's getting bad. Magician of Black Chaos right away. And a Torike. This is hell? Managed to get a Magician of Black Chaos out right away. Okay, so here's my plan. Manjo the 10,000 Hands. When this card is normal or flip summoned, you can add one ritual monster or one ritual spell card from your deck to your hand. And I know exactly what one I want to bring out. I will activate that effect. And that allows me to add a Relinquish to my hand. So here's what we're going to do. 
Black Illusion Ritual. And then I'll Special Summon Relinquished. So I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of Thousand Eyes Idol because it has exactly one star. Alright, its stats are weak, but I'm going to activate its effect. And I'll steal Magician of Black Chaos so I can obtain those stats. Now we're cooking with gas. Good, that was not a mirror force. So now I have the strongest monster on the field. Simply by stealing his. Man, this has been a very lucky episode. Oh, too bad I got rid of my uh, Thousand Eyes Idol. I could have brought in this bad boy. Thousand Eyes Restrict. It has the same effect as Relinquished, but it prevents any other monster from attacking, including my own monsters. So you know what? I'm not mad that this happened. I am disappointed by the fact that I'm still going to need one more turn to be able to win. And Yugi still has some time to pull a rabbit out of his ass. I don't know how that's going to help him. But I certainly don't want to find out. Hold on. Could this work? Target one monster your opponent controls. Uh, does this work on face down monsters? Let's find out. Bring in another relinquished, and I think I can get rid of one of these. Does it end up becoming zero if it's face down? That's a silver fang. But because it's face down, the stats are zero. But on the plus side, I only just needed an opening. There, we win. <laughs> what is going on? Like, I won two battles in like, not even eight minutes. Okay, let's go on to the Mystery Duelist. We're starting to reach the Battle City arc. It's, it's just barely got to eight minutes now. Holy crap. I mean, I'm not complaining. It certainly makes this go pretty fast. Ooh, I got two Blast Spears in a row. Kumori Dragon, and a face down. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Advanced Ritual Art. This card can be used to ritual summon any one ritual monster. You must also send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard whose total level is e equal to the level of that ritual monster. And sadly, I don't have any ritual monsters in my hand. I have a Yaiba Robo, which is awful. So there's that. Even though Ma Machine Conversion Factory could have powered it up, but it's not going to power up enough. So let's use Blast Spear as a trap monster. Two Komori Dragons? There. It'll attach to that Komori Dragon, then it'll blow up and do 1500 damage to Yugi. Now, two, a Yaiba Robo with two of these could be useful. Let's wait on that. So I think I can get a better play. Monster Reborn. Okay, brings it back. And it gets attached to another Blast Spear. <laughs> That's what's so awesome about this. 
Then I can just go and do that. Honestly, this is not a great hand. Am I really going to have to equip two of these, the same monster, to actually get anything done here? Okay. Last Spear is attached to that one. So I want to attack this one. Never mind. I guess I'm not going to be able to. And I wound up losing my only defense here. Oh, a Griffor. That one's actually weak. But man, I'm in trouble. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this jam. You you were kind of late, don't you think? I'm just going to throw that out there. Could have used you in the previous turn. Could have nullified that mirror force. Oh boy, I don't think I'm coming back from this one. Oh yeah, well, I had to lose at some point. But man, I lost to garbage. But then again, my hand was garbager. Okay, let's try this again. Maybe this will go much better. Really? Why couldn't I get you earlier? Ooh, Seiryu is pretty good. Curse of Fiend. Changes the battle positions of all attack monster on the field to defense position and vice versa. These positions cannot be changed during the turn this card is activated, except by the effect of a spell, trap, or effect monster card. You can only you can activate this only during your standby phase. Hmm. That's an interesting effect. But I guess I can't use it now because I have no monsters. Alright, let's go. Pot of Greed draws two cards. Great, my monster is revealed. Not just that, I can't attack for three turns. Ground Attacker Bugroth is pretty good. I'm gonna summon it in attack mode. That way it's less likely to be beaten up. And then hopefully next turn, I can tribute them both for this. And it looks like I can do that. Actually, I'm not gonna tribute summon. I'm going to tribute set. Do you know how many defense points this monster has? I don't think you know at all. Up. <laughs> there's, there's no other way to put this. How was I supposed to know he just get Dark Magician that quickly? Now I just gotta hope I can get like a ritual card so I can bring this guy out. I need zero ritual badly. You know what? This is fine, too. As long as he attacks this with Dark Magician. Oh, boy. That was the less desirable option. 
Oh, you gotta be kidding me! He countered it! Machine King? It gains 100 attack for each mo machine type monster on the field. Well, I don't have any on the field right now. In fact, I'm probably gonna die. I'm barely gonna die. Only a thousand left. This is like a weird card. But I can put them in defense mode. I'm more likely to get rid of them. Okay. Tribute to the doomed. I'll get rid of this. It doesn't matter. Fairy's Hand Mirror! So I wound up choosing Curse of Dragon instead. Oh boy. Oh, happy days. Did you really need that extra attack power? No, you didn't. So I don't know what you were getting at to try to nuke me. I don't appreciate that at all. Why do you have to be such an evil protagonist? Hmm, what's this card? Allure of Darkness. Uh, I'll read that later once it's my turn. Okay, he's loading up his field. I don't like that. Draw two cards, then banish one dark monster from your hand. Or, if you do not have any in your hand, send your entire hand to the graveyard. I don't think that's a good idea. The Blast Spear is dark, too. You know what? Let's go for Broke. I think I'd rather get rid of this one. Don't want to lose Zero the Mant. That's for damn sure. Okay, definitely gonna need to protect myself by any means. Even though I could consider attacking with this equipped, that is another alternative. Okay, I'm good with this. Tribute to the Doomed can wait. Unfortunately, I'm completely vulnerable. Monster Reborn? Really? He managed to bring it back? What is up with him constantly getting that Kumori dragon back? I don't know why. It's not worth it, really. Let me play Tribute to the Doomed. I don't need this card. But I still have no monsters to protect me. Okay, this is slightly weaker. But I'm still completely defenseless. Okay, Graceful Charity. This could be helpful. I don't think I can do much to stop defense. And I don't need two Zero Ritual cards. But man, that Mechanical Chaser. 1,850 attack points? Sign me up. And I'll put in a little bit more oomph as well. Now it's at 2150. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think you're going to stun my monster. 
So I'm just gonna nullify your trap and destroy it. There, how do you like them apples? I bet they taste like metal gnawing at your face. Courtesy of my mechanical chaser. Ooh, but I can also bring in Zero the Mant now. Question is, do I want to? Yes, I do. But I have to get rid of both of these. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a good time. Unlike somebody else I know. Oh, it's even worse for you. So, little Yugi, how are you gonna handle being with only 150 life points? Looking very grim for you. Well, little Yugi, how are you gonna handle 150 life points three turns in? Ah, son of a biscuit. He managed to just draw that, too. Okay, he's building up his defenses. He doesn't have anything that can just beat Zera the Mant. Wait a minute, does he have Horn of the Unicorn? Oh, oh, oh no. I did not think this through. He's probably got Horn of the Unicorn right now. Wait, never mind. I nearly gave myself a heart attack, but here we are. Oh, no, no, no! No, no. Ho, ho, ho. Guys. Does this mean he wins now? Cuz this is looking like a pretty damn good uh play he just made. Only I had enough. I'm just gonna have to eat the attack. I I can't believe it. On his last few plays, he managed to get exactly what he needed to get himself out of a jam. I think I lose now. He was down to his last 150 life points, gets a Swords of Revealing Light, and through all that, managed to pull off the biggest comeback of all time. Do I have anything else to get me out of this jam? I, I don't think I do. All I can do is just keep stalling for time. But eventually that's gonna catch up to me. In fact, it has. I'm done. I, I lose. I can't believe he just made the biggest comeback of all time. Oh, I gotta have one more duel against him. I'm that salty. I am not okay with this. I cannot let him have the last laugh for this video. Oh, 
Why does this keep happening? Why do I keep getting the cards that could have helped me when it's already over? F off, game. Really now? It didn't have to be like this. Oh, great. Ancient rules. Good thing I had a blast spear. Alright, I'm keeping this for like until absolutely necessary. Alright, let's do this. Oh, we had nothing. So maybe I should bring in Machine King instead. There we go. It's only 2200. Well, it goes to 2300 because it itself is a machine. Oh, great. Spellbinding Circle. It can't attack anymore. Do I have another move? You know, let's hold off on that till later. Okay, pot of greed, whatever, polymerization, okay, I, that whatever should not have happened. I mean, Zero the Mant can still beat it. Do you ever get tired of protecting your back row, really? Again, I'm saving Cyber Jar for when it's an emergency. That's not dark, so... Don't think this is gonna help me. And I'm gonna say... A pass to this one, too. Can I draw Zero the Mant right away? Because that would be awesome! Ooh, baby! I can get rid of both of these. Okay. It all hinges on what that card is. Good. It doesn't completely stop me. So that's probably a fairy's hand mirror. If I were to wager a guess. So that's why I'm glad I got this face down too. I'm not gonna use Cyber Jar because that destroys my monsters too. Luckily, most of his monsters are normal. So I think we'll be fine. Hopefully, he will not be able to defend himself anymore. He keeps drawing monsters to save his ass. Two Celtic Guardians! It's ridiculous. I laugh if that's a third Celtic Guardian. That would tell me that his deck shuffling is garbage. Ah, it's a beaver warrior. You know, you can keep this up, and I'm gonna keep filling your graveyard. Oh boy. Going for broke here. Putting Cyber Jar in attack mode, too. Finally! <laughs> Jeez, that took way too long. 
but there we go we did it all right next episode we're gonna go to battle city begins goodbye everyone thanks for watching